What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. Today what I got here is the DJI Rise Tello 5 megapixel Wi-Fi FPV RC selfie drone. Now it is capable of recording videos in 720p at 30 frames per second and it can travel at a speed of 17 miles per hour. Now it comes out of the box just like this fully assembled ready to go so let's go ahead and take a closer look at this bad boy here we see that it has very familiar looking props very dji like but this time around it has attached itself to some brushed motors instead and uh, like i said it also comes with the prop cars pre-attached but you are able to remove these prop cards all you got to do is just unclip them and they come right off so if you are an experienced pilot you can go ahead and take this off it will give you a little bit of uh, less wind resistance as well as making the quadcopter uh, light as well but if you are a beginner i suggest you leave the prop guards right on so that when you bang into stuff you are not damaging the props and the quadcopter itself now there's one good news about leaving the prop guards on is that the 5 megapixel Wi-Fi FPV camera is situated so that it does not catch the props in the view so that is very nice now it comes with this lattice type structured arms which makes it pretty rigid and at the same same time keeps the quadcopter very light now looking at the side of the quadcopter there is a micro USB uh, port there it is not for data transfer or upgrading uh, firmware or anything like that it is to charge up the battery and the battery is in the back of the quadcopter there and of course it is a proprietary battery it is a 3.8 uh, volt sorry 1100 milliamp size battery and it's supposed to give you a flight time of about 10 to 13 minutes so that is very nice yeah and it is too bad they don't give us two of those just one now taking a look at the bottom of the quadcopter we have some vision positioning system and they consist of a camera unit right in the middle and a couple of infrared modules on the side and it is accurate from 0 0.3 meters all the way up to 10 meters in height so that is just awesome now it also has some intelligent flight modes as well it's got bounce mode uh, 8d flip mode throw and go mode and easy shots which consist of 360 uh, degree rotation uh, orbiting around a subject it has circle which is a yaw spin in one stationary position and it also has up and away like a dji product should and it can also land on your palms like the dji spark now this does not come with a remote control so you'll have to download a app in your smartphone and it's called the tello app it is a free downloadable app in the app store and the google play store now also what it does not come with is a a instruction manual so you can also download a pdf version of the instruction manual online which i'll leave a link down below now let's go ahead and check out what else we get in the box so we get the usb charge cable to charge up your battery and we get a bag of goodies containing a prop removal tool and a full set of props and we do get a semi instruction manual to get you kind of up and uh, going to charge up the battery and such like that but it is in chinese and but they do give you a qr code to download the wi-fi phone app and up on the other side i'm not sure what that is so that is just about it you get in the box and the box is just like this it came in a box just like this and it was sandwiched between a couple of plastic shells so it was very securely packaged inside of the box so i have taken this baby out for a flight test this morning so let's go ahead and check out that footage all right here we go we are just about ready to go with the dji rise tello selfie drone so let's go ahead and power this baby up there you go sequence of lights blinking away and let's put it down here 
and let's go into the settings of the phone and go to the Wi-Fi section of the settings and we are being connected automatically from a previous connection Tello network and we are connected starting up the Tello phone app there we go we got video and it is 4x3 and there we go slight delay so let's let it warm up a little bit now if you change it over to video it becomes the full screen and hit it again you are back to the photo and it is a 4 by 3 so let's go ahead and take some photos there we go and let's point it that way towards the tree there we go and let's point it towards the cabin where it's dark and towards the lighting of the sun all right i think we took some nice photos there one more all right so we're taking some photos Now let's change it over to the video mode and let's also do some screen recording so I can show you guys what I'm doing okay and it is blinking away sounds good we are recording as well so let me just double check to make sure sometimes it turns off by itself so all right we are good to go going to the video mode so we got full screen all right so let's go ahead and check it out first let's do a little takeoff and landing first before we do anything else so let's go into takeoff button and it says takeoff and you slide it and check it out automatic takeoff and it comes to a hover right around that altitude pretty nice let me bring it down a little bit it's got vision positioning system so it's got altitude hold and it's got position hold check it out there's a little breeze coming in from that way towards this way and check it out it is not moving it's hovering in one spot let me bring it down a little bit very nice let me do a 360 here let's see if it moves oh check it out very nice and it is holding position as you can hear probably the wind noise and it is holding its position awesome 0 0.3 meters on all the way up to 10 meters so let's go ahead and raise it up a little bit and it's still got vision positioning system and it is holding steady wow check it out very nice that is awesome. All right, let's bring it down a little bit. Okay, let's fly this thing just with the phone app and see what it does. Okay, going forward, turning around. It's got a hundred meter distance, that's what it says. So basically, the average Wi Fi distance. nice and smooth though anybody can fly this thing because it's got position hold it's not going anywhere wow check that out that is pretty nice let's bring it down right here how cool is that wow this is a nice flyer okay let's go and check out some of the flight functions here let's see we got bounce mode let's go into the bounce mode it says bounce mode the aircraft automatically flies up and down within 0 0.5 and 1.2 meters of a flat surface below the aircraft tap the x icon on the screen to exit 
in an emergency okay let's go ahead and bring it in just a little bit or let me cancel because I'm not on a flat surface okay let me get out so I got virtual stick control and get back into the intelligent flight mode okay so I'm right on top of a flat surface on a table so I'm gonna hit that so let's go ahead and check it out again here's the bounce mode all right let's start okay so it goes up and down that is cool showing off its vision positioning sensors is what this is okay let me go ahead and hit that x and we are out okay so let's check out another one uh, this one here is the flips i'm gonna check out the flips let's see if i can do some flips but let me get out to a slightly open field here okay let's put it right over here and then do the uh, flips demo it says 8d flips what is with the 8d okay 8d flips slide on the screen to flip it up to eight different directions oh, okay eight different directions okay let's go ahead and start and there you go i did a right side flip i did a forward flip just like any other quadcopter that does flips but you do it on screen and i did a rear flip and oh my yeah it traversed all the way back here guys so i want to put it back out all the way to the front here and raise it up in altitude a little bit and do another flip all right so we can do flips with this thing okay let me get out of that not bad not bad all right so on this one here i'm not sure how this one works uh, it is up and away so let's go ahead and check that out okay it shouldn't it be facing me first and then hit that up and away so let me go ahead and turn it around so it is facing me kind of all right let me bring it down in altitude somewhat okay so let's go into the intelligent flight mode once again and hit that up and away high wind velocity cannot enter this mode oh really it detects wind as well oh there we go up and away start and it is slowly rising and it is slowly going away from me there we go i think that's just about it yep that is it right there all right so we don't even have to x out i think that is just about it yep let me go ahead and bring it back in here uh oh right here and bring it back awesome pre-programmed moves all right so let's check out another one and this one here what have i not checked out yet circle or throw and go and 360 all right for this move i think i'm gonna have to put the clock up there a little bit more in an open area like right around there okay now let's go ahead and check it out let's do the circle all right it says record a short video while flying in a circle when using circle fly in an open area without obstacles tap the x on the screen to exit in an emergency so let's go ahead and start and let's see what it does okay it is slowly circling around an object so it's not a, a circle but an orbit with the object in the middle so that's what it does check it out that is pretty cool all by itself all pre-programmed and it came to a complete circle and does it stop all right stops and we are done the red x disappeared as well all right so let's go on to the next one and 360 let's go ahead and hit that it records a short video while spinning 360 degree in place 
tap the X on the screen to exit in an emergency. I'm thinking it just yaw spins around and by itself. There you go. It just spins in one spot this time. It doesn't circle around. Okay, that is the difference between a 360 and the circle. So it just raw yaws in a circle. And it's taking pretty decent video. I don't see too much wobbling. So that is awesome. And the breeze has kind of slowed down and the X disappears again. Awesome again. Very, very nice. All right, so what else do we got here? Throw and go. I think we checked out all the functions here. All right, so everything is working really nice. Throw and go, huh? We haven't checked that one out. So let me get out and let me bring the Rise Tello selfie drone back. And what I'm gonna do is land this thing right here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and land it. I'm hitting that button and it gives me a couple of prompts. It wants to land or hand landing. I'm gonna do the hand landing. Okay, it says tap OK, then put your open palm on a flat or a flat object under the aircraft within five seconds. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Hit yes. And put my hand underneath. Oh, it's going away. Oh, what is it doing? It's not working. All right, let me go ahead and do that again. Maybe I didn't do it fast enough. Okay, say yes. And put my hand. Oh, check it out. How awesome is that? There you go. Palm landing. Kind of like the DJI Spark. That is awesome. All right, so we're going to do a hand tossing. So let's go into the intelligent flight mode and move on over to throw and go. So I'm going to hit that button, that icon. Oh, low battery. Cannot do the function. Uh, apparently, I am short on battery, guys. So let me go ahead and just take off and just cruise around and waste out the battery. All right, do a little pan. Oh, this is a nice little selfie drone to take with you anywhere. I mean, you're gonna go on a hiking expedition or something like that. It's so small, you just carry this and because you are controlling it with the phone and it is coming down, I believe, by itself due to low battery. Yeah, it is self-landing and I'm not able to cross the fence in time. So let's just let it self-land. So when it's low on battery, it just self-lands. And check it out. It is not landing. It is asking me to stop. There's a turquoise looking color button and oh, now it has landed itself. So you don't press that button in time. It self-lands and it says warning something in the matter of error code one three okay that's all right okay so there you go our demo flight with the dji rise tello selfie drone all right here we go once again with the dji rise tello drone i got the battery charged up a little bit and let's go ahead and take off awesome awesome look at how steady she is just fantastic let me just double check to see if I'm recording I'm recording <clears throat> the only problem that I had with this DJI rise tele drone is that once you are recording and somehow you lose that Wi-Fi connection well it stops recording and it does not save the video clip so I've noticed that I lost a couple of video clips just because of that yeah so that's not so good so I'm also recording on my screen record on the phone as well. So let's go ahead and walk with the DJI Tello. A little bit less wind today. So I'm just gonna follow it very close.
and it is fighting the wind. Let's go ahead and check out the rocks. Got to watch out when I step here. <laughs> okay, open field. Check it out. So as long as you keep it close to you, it's all right. And check it out. Taking some nice scenery of the rocks. Let's see how high I can go without it losing connection here. See, the recording has stopped again. And here I go. I'm hitting that red button one more time. So I lost that initial recording already. So let's go ahead and take it up. Yep, I still got video, but it does freeze once in a while. Do a little panning. Yeah, and I lost the video once again. And it is a stop and go situation here. So the Wi Fi connection keeps going on and off. So I'm going to continue to do some panning. Yep, that's about it, guys. So I'm going to bring it down. So you got to keep it very close. It's an ideal selfie drone but you just got to keep it close if you're outdoors and it should be a perfect indoor unit so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video so I've recorded it and I've saved it and let me go ahead and hit that record button one more time so I know at least I have something all right, so let's just go ahead and walk it. All right, here we go, walking the trails. Okay, let's head on back to home base. Okay, let's bring it back in. Okay, we're gonna perform a landing on my palm and palm landing. Nope, does not want to do it. Oh, I have to hit yes. There we go, palm landing. How awesome is that? All right, so there you have it guys. That is my review and test flight of the DJI Rise Tello Selfie Drone. Now, if you are interested in this product, please check out the link in the description below for more information about this product. So that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Have a great day.
and we'll see you again next time.